Welcome to Red Sky, the Daily Press. With one game out of our tough four yet to see week game already won, we much anticipate to play the next three to our most points exhaustion. This coming week will place us at a position where we will definitely still be at the end of the season. This week will run down to be one of the most important weeks in United 2022-2023 season. Newcastle United have had a good run this season as their new signings are proving to be worth what they paid for. With a new manager who led them to Champions League spot overtaking their rivals Arsenal FC, Tottenham look rather sharp this season as they are currently third in the Premier League table. From a bad start, Chelsea are now starting to regain form, and this will be a very crucial game to both teams. Personally from our next three games, I desire a 7 out of 9 points with 2 wins and 1 draw if possible. How many points do you think we will get? Tell us below. Anyway, without any further ado, let's hop in. Manchester United is undergoing changes thanks to Eric Ten Hag. He has introduced new concepts, added players, and tried to apply stricter standards that demand more from the team members at his disposal. These shifts have been noticeable throughout the season's early months. Even while scanning through United's recent results might not reveal the same story, it is clear from seeing them play that they are playing with greater emotions. It's crucial to remember that Ten Hag will need time to change. There is no quick remedy. He will learn more about his players as the season progresses, and they will learn more about him. Some of those concepts may be modified and adjusted, while others may be completely dropped. After a rocky start to the campaign, the results are now being emphasized more than ever. Ten Hag would want United play a style of play where he dominates the opposition in an ideal scenario, but we've continued to witness some utterly terrible play and a harsh realization that this team must first master the art of walking before moving on to running. Under the 52-year-old, United are still in the early stages of their adventure, so expectations should be moderated. There is plenty of time for the football style to be polished, but if the results don't match, he won't have that time. Three games that may significantly affect United's season are scheduled over the next nine days. The ideal strategy may be to play to United's advantages rather than following an ideological notion. In the following week's games against Newcastle, Tottenham, and Chelsea, United will be out for the taking if they attempt to play an expansive and open style of football which they are not at their best. Instead, they may do better to return to form with a counter-attacking strategy, the same one that was so successful in victories against Liverpool and Arsenal earlier this season. In their eight Premier League games this season, United have had 99 shots, and their average of 12.4 shots per game is their lowest in a single season since 2015-16. They have so far taken 121 shots, averaging 15.1 per game, which is a record high for a single campaign, since 2003-4. Given their lack of midfield fine-tuning, those statistics show us that United not only struggles to generate enough in the final third, but are also still far too simple to play against when they try to control games. The majority of their recent goals have remained been the result of sharp counter-attacking moves rather than from putting teams to the sword after waves of relentless attacks, while declaring huge long-term ambitions to revolutionize their style of play. It is reasonable to assume that Ten Hag still lacks the necessary staff to conduct business in the manner he eventually desires. Additionally, more work needs to be done on the training grounds in order to put these novel concepts and strategies into practice. Though there isn't much time because of the crowded schedule of upcoming games, extensive tactical planning would have to wait until after the World Cup. Consequently, achieving success is the most crucial short-term goal. Under Ten Hag, United is moving ahead, but they could be better off taking a step back the upcoming week so that they can move forward in the long run. What do you think about this team selection? What is your preferred selection compared to ours? Tell us below. Make sure to subscribe for more good luck in our next matches.